Hello and welcome back to Racing Rants uh, Saturday Queensland Metropolitan Preview Show. I'm Ollie Hopkins, the uh, form analyst and mounting yard judge for the rant. Um, back with episode three um, of the preview show. We, I'm going to take last week as our debut show because the horse we previewed actually got to the races, Miami Fleece. Um, Good, good way to debut. She I think she was about two dollars when we did the show. She has paid dollar sixty. Um, won pretty well. I must admit I was expecting maybe a little bit more from her. Uh, I definitely think she she will improve on that run, getting deeper into the prep, particularly with Golan. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see a little bit more, but still, a win's a win, um, and hopefully she can go on with it. Uh Aside from that, for the for the mounting yard service through the rant, we had an okay day. Um, we had her, we had Miami Fleece, London Banker, um, and it started to get a bit frustrating. We backed Alpine Edge and Run for Glory. Um, right, like Run for Glory ran the race after Alpine Edge. Both got uh, just nutted on the line after um, trading quite short in play. I thought we were home on both of them. Um, Bit of a frustrating, frustrating day on, on that regard, but an okay day nonetheless. Um, might move quickly on to racing this weekend. I'm going to try and preview two races in this video, so it might go for a little bit longer. Um, we go back to Eagle Farm here with the Rail True. Um, in terms of pattern for the day on Saturday, I'm going to... I sort of treated it as mostly fair. Um, you know, the track has been playing on pace-ish, fast and on pace-ish in recent times. Um, I haven't been, I haven't sort of really factored that bias in today. I just think with the with the farm, it can be a bit tricky. So my preference is always to play it as fair as possible and then make adjustments on the day for any bias that you actually observe. Uh, one thing of note this weekend is the smaller than usual fields at Eagle Farm. Now that that's actually a, a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. I like that because it means less work and also in the yard, you can spend more time um, assessing uh, horses in, in better detail. Uh, first race I wanted to preview is uh, race two over the mile for the now fresh uh, fresh three-year-olds. Horse I like in this is the top weight in Finziel. Uh, horse still in its first preparation for Tommy Button. Uh, it's a horse I've I've had quite a bit of time for since its debut. Um, now, the reason for that is it, in its debut race, it beat a horse called Hinged in pretty impressive fashion for mine. Um, Hinged, I think, has subsequently, you know, won a few races, obviously, but it's subsequently been sold, I think, down south to target some of the bigger races. Um, the way this horse beat Hinged in its first ever race, I thought was quite impressive. Second start, it came to Eagle Farm, and this was the first time I managed to lay eyes on it in the yard. Now, I... I, on the day, I wanted to back this horse. Now, the horse came out to parade, physically really nice horse, really strong, tight, developed, um, particularly for what it was then, a two-year-old. Uh, issue is, is this, this horse had, this horse was really playing up in the yard, like really playing up, so much so that it, um, it threw the jock and then it also flipped over in the yard um, and in doing so, cast the shoe now. Horses just can't win off of that. And so I, I couldn't back it. Um, all things considered, I was surprised the horse still ran actually on that day. But And all things considered, the horse actually ran, you know, reasonably well. Came out then last start. Now, this is the race that I've got open here in, in, the, in the, um, the other screen. Uh, back to Eagle Farm now, they put the the pre-race earmuffs on this horse, which is a which was a big, made a big difference in the way this horse paraded, paraded it just paraded essentially a new horse. They took it out onto the track early, but for the couple of laps it did do, um, 
you know, you, you could really see that the difference the earmuffs made. Now, that was evidenced um, in its run here. I ended up backing it this day as well as the event, eventual winner released the beans, which I think is a pretty talented horse. Um, if I just maybe, if I just roll back to the replay. <laughs> Um, so this is this is sort of what this this horse does, has done almost every start. Is it just sort of flops out the gates? Um, in this race, they actually ran on, they ran out really quickly. Um, which now this is over fourteen hundred meters. Now setting this sort of pace, when you're considering the horse now going up to the mile, um, I think coming off a, a race that was really strongly run is is a tick. Um, just helps with the horse's fitness and what have you. So you can see it's sort of flopped out now. They've gone along really quick and it's just sort of worked up to them well. Got onto the back of the eventual winner here in release the beans. Just roll it forward. Now you can see this horse really pick up late. Like it's come from, if we go to the top of the straight, it's what, I think four or five lengths off the lead, probably two to three lengths off the eventual winner and release the beans. Now, the way it grinds to the line is really impressive, I think. Um, and they just absolutely space out from the rest of this field. Now, this field, they're, they're not really slouches. As I said, I think the winner is quite good, but, you know, they've really put a gap in them then, gapping them here. Now, as I said, up to the mile, um, off that sort of run is a big tick for mine. Now, the obvious question for the horse is it obviously has to carry the 59 kilos here, which is five kilos on what it carried in that race. But I'm not so concerned about that. Now, it's, it's a reasonably condensed weight scale in this race as well. And primarily, as I said earlier, the horse is like a really big, strong type of horse. So those sort of horses are, are more inclined to lean towards them being able to carry the weight. Um, 440 around now in what I think is a pretty limited race. You know, a lot of these are coming out of class, uh, class one benchmark 65 maiden form. Um, they're all kind of intertwined. This comes out of proper open Saturday class racing. Um, I think 440 is a gift. I'm very confident it's going to start shorter. Um, it's already, already been back. So I'd definitely be taking the early price there. Second race I wanted to uh, sort of briefly touch on, I'll just sort of touch on the horse I like in it, just to keep this nice and short, um, is race five at Eagle Farm. Now, race five is a 1,000-metre class six uh, race. And the horse I like here is another boyfriend, I suppose, of mine in Calic. Uh, so the reason this horse is a, is a boyfriend of mine is just is purely a yard thing. It's an incredibly good looking horse, um, really athletic, strong type. Um, the race I've got up is it's, it comes into this race second up on Saturday. So the race I've got up is its first up effort, effort um, up the coast. Been the best back in the three. The coat, um, carrying the goat, Brad Stewart. Now, um, in this race, so if I might just go back a bit, actually, this might be a decent bit of insight, maybe. So you see this, you see this horse. Suppose I don't have the HD now, but you see this horse sweating up behind the gates. Now, as I said, this horse is first up into this, and it's a horse that naturally carries a bit of condition, which you can often see with these sort of strong types. And first up. Um, pr first up previously is a horse that can be a bit fresh in the yards um, behaviourally and particularly. Now, I didn't see it this day, but I have on good word that it, it was displaying some of those standard characteristics. And you can that's sort of support it by the sort of how hot it is behind the barriers here. Now, the run it gets for a first up run um, is not ideal. So... You can see it's come out um, from the widest barrier, the eventual leader and eventual winner in the race, Tavisan, drawn inside it, just to work up and sit outside it. Now, they went along at a reasonable clip here. And for a horse first up that naturally carries condition, naturally can be a bit fresh behaviourally, to sit outside lead here um, is, a, is a big test. Now, 
what makes it more of a test is this horse inside at Tavisine is a genuine sort of group performed horse um, from Victoria. Um, it's having to sit outside it on a reasonable speed. Now, this horse is having its first start up here in the Sunshine State. Um, it's had to sit outside that. And the way it works to the line, I think, is really good knowing how this horse did parade and, and the style of animal that it is. Um, so coming back, uh, coming to Eagle Farm off that run, as I said, this race rates quite well for mine. Coming off Eagle Farm, uh, sorry, coming back to Eagle Farm, this horse has some proper sort of personal bests at Eagle Farm last preparation, seems to do its best work there. And the big key for this horse and in this race is it keeps um, Brad Stewart. Now, Brad Stewart, in my opinion, without a doubt, is the best jockey in Queensland and faces a six-horse field here. Now, despite it being a six-horse field, there is still quite a number of horses that want to be up on speed. And I think it's going to be a real tactical race. Uh, Brad Stewart will just get this horse into the right position and get, give it every chance. Um, I think as at the, the as at the time that I'm recording this, there's ten dollars available. Um, I think that's a terrific bet, particularly if the horse can make the improvement in the yard that I'm expecting. Hopefully, I haven't rabbled on too long. Uh, if you're interested in getting my yard stuff and joining our racing rant, you get um, all of Sydney Metropolitan races covered with prices from Mark Lambourne. Mounting Yard Mail from Glenn Pollitt and preview shows galore, review shows galore. Um, it's a terrific product. Just get onto racingrant.com.au, get a gold package and you'll have uh, content coming out your wazoo. Beautiful. Good luck this weekend. Cheers.